Good afternoon, everybody. First and foremost, I hope you're all safe and well. This is the, going to be the first of um, a series of vlogs that I've decided to do, as opposed to send out slightly boring emails. Um, purpose of which is to really ensure that we keep the lines of communication open from all levels of the business and also provides me with an opportunity to share with you uh, the decisions that are being made and taken every day and keep you up to speed with some of the direction in which we're going to um, follow in coming weeks and months. First thing though to say is thank you all very much for the flexibility and the adaptability that you've shown in the last 10 days or so as we've moved into this new way of working. Remote working is not for everybody, I understand, but I hope you've been able to focus uh, without too many distractions at home. Clearly it is a time of change, a time of finding a new way of working, not just from home or office, but understanding that our clients and our clients' debtors have pressures which we need to try and adapt to. One of the things I'm sure you're finding is uh, a request to do things slightly differently, to verify and validate debt slightly more rigorously, and to report slightly more uh, on a granular level than we would have done in the past. Um, I thank you for adapting to this. The, re the main reason behind it is to ensure that as we go provide ongoing funding for our clients, we do so safe in the knowledge that the debt itself is payable and we are receiving cash in as we put cash out of the door. And yes, this is slightly more onerous than it was before, but we are looking to provide additional resources into the, um, the verification, the validation area of our business. The, the, the most recent initiative, I think really, is to try and pull together information that relates to the performance of all of our clients. And what I mean by that is just to try and get a summary picture of how they are faring in these difficult times. Some may have decided to mothball, some may have closed shop. Some may even have seen a, an increase in turnover. I think Rimen and Shannon and through Bruce and Christie have started to ask for a slightly more granular level of narrative that surrounds our clients, not just around the, st the statistics and the data, but also what are the clients saying when you speak to them. It's really, really important that we capture this information to ensure that we've got a full picture of how our clients are being impacted by the, um, the coronavirus. So I won't keep you any longer in this first vlog. Uh, it really was just to introduce the concept and let you know what's going on. Future, um, episodes or uh, updates. We'll perhaps talk, look at some things in a slightly more specific basis, how our funding's going, how our cash collections are going, and how our volume is going. But that's it for today. Thank you all very much again for your ongoing support and your adaptability and your flexibility. Um, it's really important we keep lines of communication open. So if you have got feedback or comment or areas you'd like to hear more about, please do drop me a line and in the next episode I'll try and cover some of those off. Stay safe, look after yourselves and I'll speak to you all soon. Thank you.